Welcome to lesson number 3.4. In this lesson, we'll go over multiple modifiers. So if you recall, in the previous lesson, we went over a single modifier, meaning we learned how to add a modifier such as year equal 1997 or a modifier such as country equal UK. But what if we have to use multiple modifiers within same set analysis expression? Well, that's what we will learn in this lesson. So let's get started. Okay, we'll begin with or condition. As such, or is the default behavior. So, so if you have multiple values within same modifiers or multiple modifiers within same set analysis expression, click view is using or condition implicitly. So let's look at examples so that it makes sense to you. We'll look at first example where we have single modifier but with multiple values. As you see on the screen, your is equal to 1997 comma 1998. When the expression gets evaluated, all the rows that contain either year 1997 or 1998 be included in this calculation. Now let's look at another example. In this example, we have multiple modifiers. We have year and customer country. So any rows that contain year 1997 or customer country UK will be included in this calculation. Now let's go over and condition. Whenever you need to force condition that requires value from multiple modifiers, you have to use and in between multiple modifiers. So as shown in this example, year is equal to 1997 and customer country is equal to UK. So only rows that contain both year equal 1997 and customer country UK will be included in this calculation. Also, the order in which this modifiers are listed is not important, meaning you can have customer country equal UK first and then end condition in year equal 1997. The end result will be the same. Also, as you may already know, false condition returns zero and true condition returns minus one. Now we'll go over various challenges in the following lesson so that we can apply this knowledge further to enhance our understanding about set modifiers. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.